Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you the best render settings for 1080p video in Camtasia Studio. Let's get right to the tutorial. As you can see, I have Camtasia Studio open right here and I have a video right over here and when I'm ready to actually create the render settings for the video, um, I'm going to click on produce and share right up here. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on this drop down menu. Now, if I want to create render settings for video production in Camtasia Studio, um, I'm going to choose one of these two options because these are all presets right over here and these two options down here allow you to create your own production settings and render settings. Now the main difference is that if you're only going to produce the video, if you want to just you know create the render settings for one time use, then you're going to click on this option right here which is custom production settings. That will allow you to produce this video with your custom render and production settings um, one time. If you want to create render settings that you can go back to all the time frequently then you're going to go to add slash edit preset and this will allow you to basically create a new preset that you can click on to you know continuously and frequently use those render settings to produce multiple videos i'm going to show you this option right here but it will bring you to the same set of options whether you choose this one or this one you will get the same options so we're going to just do it for one time use so i'm going to click this right here and i'm going to click next Okay, now it, it basically allows you to choose which video format you want. We're going to leave it at MP4 right here. That's my video format of choice. I'm going to click next. Okay, now this first uh, option right here, these are all the options, but this first option allows you to choose your controller options. We don't want a controller, so we're going to unclick this right here. As you can see, there's no controller. We can move on to the next option, size. Right now, the video is set at the best aspect ratio right here, the, at 1080p, um, with the 1080p aspect ratio. So you should have your video size set at these options right here. Height, 1080, width, 1920. That is 1080p video, and it will give you awesome quality, okay? Now, video settings. Okay, so frame rate, automatic is completely fine. Key, frame every five seconds. Uh, you can leave this at baseline and this at auto. Now, what we want to focus on is right over here. These will probably all look like this already, but this might be at, you know, a lower number. It might be at 50%. So what we want to do is this allows you to choose whether you want higher quality video with a larger file size or lower quality video with a smaller files, file size. I like to leave mine at 75% for the best render settings because if you bring it higher up, so if I bring it higher up, let's say, you know, I want to leave it at 87%, Camtasia Studio lets you know that when you bring the file size above 75%, you will have a much larger file size with very little improvement in the actual quality of the video. Plus, you actually need a device that can that can um, actually take advantage of that higher quality video and display that higher quality video. So the sweet spot is basically 75%. So you're going to bring this number to 75%. That is the best, the best uh, percentage with regards to video quality, uh, the encoding of the video quality. For the next option, we want to go to audio settings. Now, if you are using a not so good microphone, you're going to want to choose a lower number. You're going to want to choose something like 128 because you won't be able to take advantage of the higher quality audio if your microphone isn't the greatest. But if you're using a good quality microphone or a very high quality microphone, then you're going to want to choose 1024. Now that's going to increase the file size slightly, but it's going to give you amazing audio quality and it will really take advantage of the high audio capabilities of the microphone that you're using. Once you are ready um, for the next option, you're going to cl simply click next right here and it's simply going to um, allow you to add a watermark if you want and you can, I, I always leave it unchecked, I don't have a watermark, um, but basically when you click next, it's going to allow you to choose the folder that you want to save the video file to and then you can actually produce the video, but that's basically it. Those are, in my opinion, the best audio uh, the best render settings for 1080p video in Camtasia Studio. As you can see, I have taken you through all of the options and once again I have shown you how to do it with the custom production settings option which is if you just want to create render settings for one time use but you will get to the same set of options if you choose the add or edit preset which is if you want to use uh, the same preset the same render settings multiple times. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.